okay dear student today we are going to study our subject pharmacy practice in which we are going to study its scope and uh, objectives of this subject why this subject incorporate in our syllabus uh, you can see in the slide uh, in the changing scenario of pharmacy practice in india for successful practice of hospital pharmacy the student are required to learn various skills like drug distribution drug information therapeutic drug monitoring for improved patient care this subject is uh, incorporated in your syllabus for clinical pharmacist or practice of clinical pharmacy uh, in your syllabus or uh, practice of clinical pharmacy uh, by the pharmacist that is why this labeled syllabus included in which cover hospital pharmacy as well as community pharmacy in this subject uh, in community pharmacy a student will be able to learn various skills such as dispensing of drug responding to monitor alignments by the providing suitable safe medication patient counseling for improved patient care in the community setup why they incorporate this subject uh, pharmacists must be know about the hospital pharmacy what is the um, pattern of drug distribution in a hospital drug information what kind of drugs uh, using in a hospital and <clears throat> which type of drug uh, <clears throat> delivering to the patient in in patient and out patient uh, as well as uh, drug therapeutic monitoring also uh, handled by the clinical pharmacist as well as nursing staff and for the improvement of patient care again uh, this is this subject also touch the community pharmacy that is uh, direct communication of pharmacist uh, through uh, patient when uh, medical practitioner or doctor uh, writing the prescription that prescription is not handled by the patient it is handled by pharmacist uh, he is uh, present in a uh, community pharmacy or and society <clears throat> uh, community pharmacy is a part of uh, both retail pharmacy and wholesale pharmacy and in which the pharmacist give or educate the patient uh, who is uh, taking the prescription or uh, the duty of a pharmacist to dispense proper prescription as well as uh, give the guidance or guidelines to the patient for the safe medication and also counsel the patient for improvement of uh, his safety patient care and educate the uh, community per persons uh, in the ca case of uh, just just like pandemic condition of uh, covid 19 or any other uh, seasonal disease which comes across the that particular region now this is the scope of your subject now we can go for objectives after the completion of course students will be able to know what are the things stable a uh, student must be know after the completion of this subject pharmacy practice a student know various drug distribution method in a hospital anyone a student uh, anyone a student uh, knows about the drug distribution in a hospital <laughs> Ashish, yes, sir. Uh, are you able to know, uh, tell something about the this drug distribution uh, method in a hospital? Sir, I don't know. Uh, have you seen something? Uh, uh, what what process they are adopting to distribute medicine in a hospital? 
इंडिविजुअल ड्रग जो होती है ना सर उसका फ्लोर सिस्टम पर हाँ यस दे आर एडोप्टिंग वार्ड सिस्टम फ्लोर सिस्टम फ्लोर फार्मेसी वार्ड फार्मेसी लाइक दैट दे आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग सेंटर दे टेकिंग द मेडिसिन फ्रॉम द सेंट्रल फार्मेसी एंड कीपिंग दैट ड्रग इन अ वार्ड फार्मेसी एंड फ्लोर फार्मेसी फॉर द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ मेडिसिन टू द इन पेशेंट एंड फॉर द इन द केस ऑफ आउट पेशेंट दे आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग the medicine from the uh, pharmacist counter or uh, pharmacy counter uh, against the prescription the what the written by the practitioner now this is a um, drug distribution method in a hospital and appreciate the pharmacy stores management and inventory control he must know or a student must know the how to manage the pharmacy store or its inventory control inventory control means what are the materials key, uh, uh, keeping inside the um, pharmacy that should be well organized it is not a scattered in form well organized uh, easily he can handle that material uh, by uh, taking any prescription or uh, any demand uh number third is mo monitor drug therapy of the patient through medication chart review and clinical review here uh, he monitor the drug th therapy or uh, treatment what is treatment of the patient is going on of the patient and he review the uh, that particular uh, prescription also now next is uh, he obtained the medication history interview and counseling the patient uh, pharmacist should be able to counsel the patient and he understand the um, medical history and uh, after the counseling of patient or he ask some kind of question uh, and uh, Uh, know the patient history or medication history of that particular patient and that particular disease uh, identify drug related problem uh, pharmacists must know uh, some diploma students also with us they are knowing this thing uh, this identified drug rela uh, related problems which kind of interaction uh, take place between uh, some contraindicatory drug or uh, incompatible drugs uh, he also able to interpret the uh, laboratory result interpretation of re result is very important uh, by the practitioner as well as pharmacist also uh, for example we can say uh, if patient's wbc is very high then uh, what is the meaning of that anyone student rupal raksha if patient patient wbc is very high more than 10000 12000 14000 then what is the meaning of that any student sir anyone? sir platelet count uh... not platelet i am not uh, saying platelet wbc the w... mass cell wbc white blood cells is very high count is very high it means patient is suffering from very high infection very uh, yes sir infection is very uh, critical sir, wbc uh, infection uh, rok ka kaam karti hai na ji sir wbc infection ko rokne ka kaam karti hai na ha isiliye wo bad jata hai body mein bahut jyada infection hota hai us samay wbc count bad jata hai to hame ye interpretation aana chahiye ki we must know if uh, we got a blood report of patient is having uh, 15000 wbc count normal value is at 1000 near about 8000 and 15000 just double wbc count it means he is suffering from various severe infection severe infection uh, some kind of infection then uh, 
prescription uh, practitioner or pharmacist must give the drug which inhibit the infection or which remove the infection which uh, kill the uh, inf uh, infectory uh, organism or uh, in uh, microorganism uh, causative microorganism which cause the infection so that is very important interpretation of laboratory result means if platelet loud, uh, platelet count is very low then what is the meaning of that platelet count is very low 3 lakh 4 lakh uh, count is uh, that is normal but if very low that is uh, less than 10000 less than 5000 or less than 15000 what is the meaning of that anyone very common disease nowadays it is going on in various sir, areas malaria not malaria it is dengue yes. dengue dengue yes sir dengue. Uh, yeah uh, in uh, this condition we can easily interpret this uh, infection is uh, due to or this um, platelet count is uh, decreased because of uh, dengue infection and that uh, uh, infection platelet uh, transmission of platelet or uh, various type of uh, uh, treatment will start immediately because uh, we understand after the um, interpretation of that patient laboratory result that practice also must be know, known by the pharmacist after studying this subject know the pharmaceutical care services and patient counseling in community pharmacy and concept of rational drug therapy these are also things or objectives after studying this particular subject now again we go for this unit first i told you in a previous class my unit unit first include this is unit first yes you, you can able to see this is a visible yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, it include hospital and its organization uh, dear student you must know the definition of hospital uh, you write down if you have a copy pen you write down this one question is coming always coming in the exam uh, 14 marks question or 7 marks question uh, define hospital classify hospital and its organization the, that is fixed uh, it will ask in uh, your national exam as well as your university exam if um, paper is coming uh, descriptive paper is coming if uh, due to this covid 19 if paper is objective type then some question or some classification based some mul multiple choice uh, based question will ask in the examination mm -hmm. So now this hospital and its organization, definition, classification of hospital, hospital, they are classified in three uh, types, primary, secondary, and tertiary hospital. Now classification based on clinical and non-clinical. This is a, another type of uh, uh, classification, uh, number of type of classification, government hospital, private hospital, uh, this primary, secondary, tertiary hospital classification on the based of clinical or non-clinical basis, and uh, this uh, system of medicine also. Uh, system of medicine means allopathic, naturopathy, Ayurvedic, homeopathic type of hospital is there. Unani hospital is there. Organization structure of hospital. You have to study in this medical staff involved in the hospital and their functions these uh, things we study in this uh, our first unit first chapter now we can go for our slides is hospital and the department of pharmaceutical services
the pharmaceutical service has developed over the last 30 to 40 years the practice has changed from chief concern on the product or to patient the hospital pharmacy has become a incompensation uh, the all aspect of drug therapy Hospital classification. Uh, if you have pen and paper, please write, uh, write down this hospital classification. It is important. Number one classification is based upon the ownership. For the profit and non-profit, not for profit hospital, these two type of hospital. Uh, ownership hospital, government hospital uh, run by the government that is MOH and military hospital and railway hospital like that. MOH means Ministry of Health Hospital like AMS, not profit hospital, some charitable hospital or funded hospital. Another is private hospital that is, you know, the in Bhopal, we can say it, Bansal Hospital or Narbada Hospital or National Hospital, like that. Uh, it is uh, run, run for the sake of profit. Funding and res uh, responsibility by the owner. Uh, government uh, not giving any uh, funding to this institution. Again, hospital classification. This is by the type of care provided. By the type of care provided. Chronic care and rehabilitation and psychiatric hospital. Just write down if you have pen and paper. Acute care, all the hospital, primary, secondary and tertiary. Primary is the starting point of entry to the health system. Secondary is ref referral services, the intermediate and tertiary is the setting where the patient are referred by very is for a specific treatment or intensive care tertiary care can be classification further into a specific uh, um, they are they can also uh, classify uh, with the specialization general or special uh, specialty tertiary care hospital sir likha nahi thoda sa baat ke ha आप लिख लीजिए अभी मैं रख रहा हूं आपको हम लोगों के पास अभी भी 10 मिनट बचे हुए हैं तो हम लोग अभी देख लेते हैं और आपके कुछ क्वेश्चन हो तो यू कैन आस्क डायरेक्टली यस आप नोट कर लीजिए जो भी नोट कर रहे हैं यस सर बस हो कर रहे हैं Now can I move? Yes, sir. Again, by teaching affiliation, teaching operate residency training program. Some hospitals they are having uh, yesterday or day before yesterday. I told in my previous class, some institution or some hospitals having uh, academic classes for uh, UG program, PG program, uh, MBBS, MD, MS course, they are uh, having a hospital as well as uh, teaching uh, academic uh, activity inside the hospital as well as they are having some courses like nursing and physiotherapy courses also run within the hospital. Teaching affiliation site of for residency and training program 
they also provide the training to the pharmacist and uh, new doctors or nurses non teaching hospitals हॉस्पिटल गवर्नेंस हॉस्पिटल कोई भी कैसे गवर्न करता है कैसे रन करता है उसका क्या ऑर्गेनाइजेशन चार्ट होता है तो यू कैन सी हियर इज द बॉडी दैट गिवन द अल्टीमेट अथॉरिटी ओवर द एक्शन ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूशन कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर इन टॉप पोजिशन बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर governors or trustees they are placed in a top of the position uh, we can take our uh, institution sirt sp uh, organization chart then uh, from top chairman sir is there after that uh, he is a chairman of uh, this society agrawal education society that agrawal education society is run various institution uh, in which one of our institution that is sirt s and sirt s pharmacy is headed by dr jitin manvi sir uh, he is our director after that uh, faculty members are there after that uh, technical staff uh, after that uh, class 4 pune sweeper cards they are correct that is the organization chart of our institution similarly uh, hospital is also governed like that and that uh, board of trustees board of governors board of uh, directors are the top position uh, of this organization they are responsible to provide the overall mission and goals of the hospital evaluate the evaluate its progress towards achieving the mission and goal whether this institution is achieving its mission or goal or not ensure that the hospital serve its community whether this hospital is serving for community or not that also is observed by the governing body governors or trustees ensure financial appropriateness uh, whether uh, fi uh, financial uh, process or budget of that particular hospital is uh, proper utilizing or not or pro uh, proper distribution of uh, finance or budget in all departments of the hospital is going on or not they also ensure by the board of directors or governors now also hospital are the responsible to various accrediting and licensing bodies these are uh, um, licensing authorities which gives to run the hospital uh, like uh, uh, they have given the name this j c a h o m r q p you can go through this uh, abbreviation but uh, just i can say uh, some local authorities like municipal corporation they are giving the license to run the hospital um, environmental um, environmental department also giving the uh, license uh, to run the hospital uh, environmental clearance also required uh, for this uh, uh, running uh, of the hospital whether that is suitable position is there suitable area is there or not like that various uh, agencies are there they provide the uh, license for the running of hospital state and local boards of health medical pharmacy and nursing may also have authority for the provision of certain type of services
uh, this is the organization structure of hospital the uppermost level of the hospital management the hospital director that is also called as uh, called as ceo chief executive officer second level managers write down in your copy chief operating officer chief financial officer director of nursing bigger hospital may have a third level of management to assess second level and called as hospital assistant director the next level of management department heads or director like different departments hospital having pharmacy department nursing department and other clinical and supportive services pathology department they have responsibility for the managing and directing all the aspect of particular service such as pharmacy services also hospital may organize by product line reporting of pharmacy director this is a chart uh, i am uh, ending my lecture in, uh, in this uh, level or a, you just write down this chart you have time four or five minute this chart is very important in examination you have to write this chart in your answer sheet so just write down this chart all chapters of hospital pharmacy contain this organization chart you must remember this chart don't get confused one chart to the another chart this is first one chart first chart just go through it 